From vegan diets to beans on toast, the diet of an F1 driver is just as varied as the racetracks they have to drive on. Whether it's Lewis Hamilton's vegan pancakes or Fernando Alonso's garlic tofu, there is plenty here to keep people interested. With that in mind, let's see what the current crop of F1 drivers actually eat. Kicking things off, we have none other than Lewis Hamilton. The British F1 driver has lived a cosmopolitan lifestyle. Born and bred in Britain while living in Monaco, it's no surprise that his diet is just as varied. Starting with breakfast, you won't be surprised that protein is at the top of his list of priorities. The day starts with avocado on toast, followed up by a strong smoothie. In an interview, Lewis told a reporter, I always have smoothies. I love having various smoothies with plant-based protein. I generally have that probably two or three times a day because it's super quick and super easy. Put it in the blender and you can always take it with you. A healthy start indeed, but his guilty pleasure does include beans on toast. But underpinning the central theme of his food is a plant-based diet. Moving on to lunch, things are very simple. An avocado salad is followed by some vegetables. Clearly, he does love an avocado or two. And with that out of the way, there's a whole variety of snacks that the racing driver fuels upon. Protein bars and nuts are some of the few things that Lewis likes. I'm generally snacking through the day, he remarked. Finally, we make it to dinner, where a plant-based curry is at the top of the menu. He's influenced by Middle Eastern food, packing his curry with spice and aromatic flavors. Being at the top of your game requires the diet of a champion. It is no surprise that seven world titles have followed, and that has been credited to his diet. I'm 35 now, and though theoretically I should be less fit than before, I'm more mobile and in better shape than I was at 25, Lewis is quoted as saying. From one spectrum to another, Fernando Alonso's eating habits could not be any different. His breakfast starts with a nondescript porridge mixed with fruit. A beverage or two is accompanied by a way of green tea or some freshly squeezed orange juice, and the proof is in the pudding. Winner of two world titles, this simple diet plan has been integral in Fernando's success. Moving on to lunch, in comparison with Lewis Hamilton, Fernando is something that Lewis does not have, chocolate. But before you get worked up about whether or not it's suitable, it's important to bear in mind that it is dark chocolate. Not only that, this is limited to only a couple of squares. That's accompanied by the main meal of stir-fried garlic tofu with some rice. Very lean, healthy, and full of flavor. But Fernando's diet was clouded by something of a political statement. In response to Lewis Hamilton's public admission to encourage a sustainable lifestyle by adopting a plant-based diet, Fernando hit out at the double standards that Lewis was promoting by virtue of him being an F1 driver. After all, driving highly fueled cars around a racetrack for the sake of winning slash entertainment does fly in the face of an environmentally concerned person. And for Fernando, that was something that didn't sit well with him. He infamously said, I would never release a message like Lewis. You can't send out a message on one day and then on the next do the opposite. We all know the lifestyle that Lewis has and that Formula One drivers take 200 planes a year. You can't then say, don't eat meat. But before emotions run high, let's get back to the final piece of the puzzle, that being dinner. Dinner is served with either a piece of fish, usually mackerel that's full of omega-3s, or a piece of meat with some sweet potato and or a salad. And if there's still some room left, that's topped off by a dessert usually consisting of some yogurt and berries. Just when you thought those two diets were outlandish, you haven't seen anything yet. Red Bull's Max Verstappen starts the day with something you never would have guessed, absolutely nothing. He prides his lifestyle and fitness on intermittent fasting. And as part of that, he skips breakfast and moves straight to lunch. Even tea or coffee are often off the menu. I do try to drink tea, but I really don't like it. And coffee almost makes me hurl. I haven't been able to eat in the morning since I was little, so I just eat a slightly larger lunch. In order to compensate for the lack of breakfast, Max doubles his intake of calories when it comes to lunch, and that is something that does not disappoint. While it is often basic, it does pack all the nutrients that a Formula One driver needs. Chicken, vegetables, and rice are on the menu. It may not set the world alight, but this strict regimen keeps Max at the top of his game. I can't eat or drink everything I want, unfortunately. I'm always on the weight limit of 74 to 75 kilograms, so I have to pay attention, he said. Before dinner, Max likes to keep snacks on hand. There's a variety of fruit and nuts which allow him to have an alternative snack and keep his cravings at bay. And once the snacks have been demolished, we can now move on to dinner. Once again, it's nothing out of the ordinary. Some chicken or some fish is served with vegetables that are rounded off with either a salad or some soup. Our final driver in this video is Lando Norris. He may have some Belgian heritage, but when it comes to his breakfast, his British half comes to the forefront. He starts the day with a traditional British fry-up, which consists of chicken sausages and egg whites. 
it's a healthy alternative to an otherwise traditionally greasy breakfast. Between that and lunch, he enjoys a nice protein shake. His lunch is simple and consists of carbohydrates and proteins. Like Max Verstappen, it's made up of chicken, with vegetables and rice on the side. But unlike other race drivers, he tries not to engage in snacking. It can, after all, create a slippery slope which can lead to relapses even for the best of people. I have tried to be more strict with certain things, whether that is with food and not trying to have pizza as often. I can still have a little treat now and then, but it's also the physical side of it too trying to do more in the gym because I struggle with that part of it," he commented. And by making sure that no stone is left unturned, Lando finishes the day off with some fish. A lot of fish. The high omega-3 levels have been credited with his impressive endurance and concentration levels. That is often accompanied by some salad or vegetables. And if Lando continues to play his cards right, it won't be long before he challenges the biggest names in the sport for the world title. All in all, F1 drivers must have a strict diet. Every part of this is designed to keep the driver at the top of his peak, as any additional and unnecessary weight can make the car operate slower. To make matters even more critical, race drivers can lose up to a reported 4 kilograms of weight during a race by virtue of the g-force that is generated by the increasing speed. Failure to stay balanced in the car by maintaining the weight equally on either side can be critical in winning and ensuring that injuries are avoided. And given that races are often decided by milliseconds, drivers are always looking to get an edge before that checkered flag is waved. And a diet may just be the difference between pole position and missing out. So whose diet impressed you the most? Did you agree with what they've been eating, or should there have been some improvement? And were you inspired by the standards which the drivers have set in dedicating themselves to stay in good health? And dare we say it, who had the worst diet that should be avoided at all costs? Tell us! If you like what you see and are enjoying the channel, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Check out our other videos and come back to the channel to get more updates like this. Thank you so much for watching the video, and as always, we'll see you in the next. Bye-bye!